So, I mean, here's the thing. Like, you might say, oh, we don't need it because, like, it's useless. Um, that's... What? What's this? Um, let's sell the... The bumper sword. No, let's sell the super sledge. There you go. Pleasure doing business with you. Like, here's the thing. A bed frame, like, is very, like, functional. Like, I don't think there's anything to be wrong by getting a bed frame. And actually repair some items. Um. Oh, and we can't even navigate the inventory. But a spinning bed, like, like, yes, you don't need it, but I could see it being fun. I don't know if, like, I would buy it. But, like, there's things that I have that people want to think, oh, I don't know if I'd buy that, but yeah, I could have them anyways. And I think it goes to things I've said before, where, like, you just gotta do you. Like, if you think that's something you want, like, I think by all means you should go for it. Um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Oh, we can, oh, hello. And actually, let's equip love and hate, that's what I need to do. Yeah, very true. Um... Yeah, I, I think I, like a spinning bed would be cooler than like a non-spinning one. Though I think for me, I wonder if that would be. You know, let's repair this. Like, to what end would I want the spinning bed? Like, I almost wonder if it would be more of a distraction than anything else. Like, it depends like how much it spins, right? Because you say like spinning bed, but I don't have much more context beyond that. Because uh, like, does it spin a lot? Does it spin slowly? Like, do you have to put a lot of effort in to spin it? He's bought a new bed frame less than a year ago. Um, found a monster crap. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like how it always goes. You know, you find something after the fact. Like, um, like to use in a similar story to what you're saying about you buying like the bed frame and finding all about the, um, the spinning beds. Uh, one time, my, uh, my stepbrother had a cavity in his teeth. So my stepmom, you know, buy a filling for the cavity for this tooth which is um very expensive but then like six months later the tooth fell anyways because he's like 10 or 11 when he got the filling so like the tooth just fell out because it was a baby tooth and it's just kind of like dang that sucks like spend all this money for a filling and then just have the tooth fall out like, but that's just how life goes and you know dentist work is not cheap at all so it's i mean it's unfortunate but all you can do after that happens, like, look back and say, oh, that's kind of funny. Okay, some more scorpions, but I'm very confident that Raul can, uh, take them on. Thank you, Raul. Okay, I mean, maybe I should, like, try a little bit. Okay, we crippled him. Where's Raul? I don't see him anywhere. There, I guess we are forced to kill a scorpion myself. Dentists have a pretty risky job. What makes you say that? I'm just curious. I've never heard dentists and risk in the same situation or same sentence before. Though, I mean, I guess to be fair, I mean, I can understand them having a risky job and that they're working with people's teeth and like it's fragile. So, so when I think risk, I think risk to the individual user. Though, I guess for them, if a dentist like messes up their teeth or sorry, messes up your teeth, they can. I guess get sued or something, which that is pretty bad. So I guess that is dangerous and risky. Um, and it's delicate work too. Oh dear. I don't think I want to be in there because that seems like death claw territory. So I think we want to go around this uh, canyon. Yeah, because I don't want to go fight death claws because that would be bad for business. And by bad for business, I mean like I would get killed, which I think would be riskier than being a dentist. No offense, but. I don't think a dentist has a high risk of being killed at their job, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's what you're talking about. You know, it wasn't that, oh, like, you know, if they mess up someone's teeth, they could get sued. They, maybe you actually meant that if a dentist, like, he just, like, pokes someone's tooth the wrong way, they literally just explode or something. That'd be insane. Like, why would people even want to be a dentist? Well, maybe it's because they're all, like, adrenaline junkies. <laughs> Every dentist you meet is secretly, like, a daredevil, and like, he just sees the thrills. Oh, we're actually getting destroyed here. We need to find, um... 
either a bed. We need to find a new selling place. That's what we need to do. All right, I'm gonna let Raul just take care. Of oh, baby. Good job, Raul. Holy, Raul made him short work. Of all. Oh my goodness. Whew. And we're almost dead. Good grief. All right. And we got another level. Oh, but the poison killed me. No. Ah! <laughs> Oh dear, I didn't realize I was poisoned. Okay, well now we're gonna take some water. Oh, we're all the way back in the good springs. Shoot, man. Okay, so I guess we need to save beforehand. Huh. Surgery is like the one time me and my family went to the vacation. We went to the dentist there because her was too for father and she got them. It's normal, she's. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. Sorry. So now I really read your story. I wasn't. Um, well, see, now I feel a little bit bad because I'm like, yeah, like how could dentists have a risky job? But then now you say that your um, your mom had a like a nerve pull or something, and she can't her left side feels numb, dude. And actually, now that I think about like wisdom teeth, like I've got my wisdom teeth pulled, and I got off relatively lucky. Like my mouth swelled for like two, three days, but that was it. But um. Uh, I've known people who've gotten their wisdom teeth pulled and they've gotten like bacterial infections or they tried to pull out the tooth but then they had um um whatchamacallit it? it's either like something like, part of the tooth like broke in the mouth or something like there's been like a lot of complications no yeah of course um it was like just like surgery too right my uh, I had a friend who had a brain tumor or who yeah he had the brain tumor my friend's still alive don't worry but um like, going to get surgery for the brain tumor, it was like, like, he could die from the surgery if the doctors aren't careful. Like, which would, that would be a very stressful job. And I think that's, like, for me, that's why I can't be, I couldn't be a doctor. Because, oh my goodness. Like, the pressure of, like, dealing with that. I think it's the same thing for dentists, too. Like, I, like, so, for the wisdom teeth and stuff, like, I, I don't want to say that dentists don't do delicate work. I think they actually, like, they do now that they think about it. And I think before I was being flippant and a little bit ignorant. Now that, you know, I've read that, I'm like, oh, maybe I should change my stance a little bit. Um, but, like, doctors, too, because, like, you can, like, deal with things with, like, you know, the heart. Oh, we don't need to be here. Yeah, scary. Yeah, boy, and that's just it. Like, what doctors do, like, is scary work in my mind. But, like, if we didn't have them... Like, so, again, the doctor who operated on my friend to help him with his brain tumor... Like, it's scary to think that things gone wrong and, like, my friend just would have been dead, you know? Because, like, they're operating on the brain. But that being said, if we didn't have the doctor either, like, he might just be dead because he just had the brain tumor and, like, no one could do anything about it. Like, it's, um, you know, same idea, I guess, with, like, you know, firefighters or, like, policemen. Like, you have people who throw themselves in the line of, I was going to say the line of fire, which for firefighters, like, yeah, that's, like, literally the case. Uh, and, like, it's risky jobs, and those people are just, like, that's normal for them. Like, I've talked to, like, nurses and stuff or other people who work in, like, the medical industry, and I have a lot of respect for them because they do things, like, I just couldn't do. Like, I don't do well when dealing with, like, human suffering or things like that um and that's just it like everyone's got their own set of skills that they um that they have and different people are good at different things um like i think i you know you mentioned yourself that you're studying to become a nurse if i remember i'm not good at details also rollo this is your time to shine shoot him boss He's a better shot than I am, so I'm just gonna let him deal with it, because I don't wanna go in and punch them either. Uh, so, and, and, and that's the thing, like, some people. Uh, we need to use Stimpaks. Uh, we might be in some serious trouble, too. Yes, we bought the Stimpaks. Uh, I can deal with humans better than animals, like. 
her to put me in front of me, I'll just cry to Oh, and that's just it. Like, I have more of a soft spot for um, animals than humans, too. But even for me, um, like, even in video games, like, even if, like, for Fallout, part of the reason why I like playing, like, a good character is that I don't like... Even in games, it's hard for me to make people unhappy, even though I, I know it's fictional. We should probably work on our lockpick, too, eventually. But I think everything is time. We'll, we'll do a lockpick later. Um, there we go. Uh, and we want to use more stim packs. I'm sure. Yeah, and and that that's the thing. But like, for me and like human like, so me I I, I can't do well with human suffering like, at all. Uh, like even in like fictional contexts where, uh, I you know would think that oh like it's okay. Also, we need to keep an eye on our HP because we're still poisoned. Uh, more stim packs, please, and we'll actually eat the sugar bombs. And the squirrels too. But there's things that I have an easier time doing than other people do. And I don't want to say that I think I'm in the same, like, camp as, like, you know, nurses or, like, social workers or, like, you know, like, firemen or any of those. Like, I have a lot of respect for those people. And as far as I'm concerned, they do... I would argue they do more important work than what I do. Because, like, I'm, I'm a software developer, which, like, yeah, I create software. But I don't think I'm really having an impact on people's lives like at, at best i save farmers a few dollars and like maybe as a long-term consequence they can get more food for people but you know for doctors like well they like directly save someone's life like that that's pretty impressive right there man these cazadors man i'm telling you so much for our stim packs like they're just gone now but I went to school and I studied mathematics. And for me, like, I look at math and I'm like, oh, like, cool. Like, I like mathematics. I don't think we're supposed to get up here. Nope. We're going to walk. Dang, man. That poison is nasty. So for some people, they think, oh, I can't do math. Whereas for me, math comes more naturally for me than some other people. But that's just part of, like, why, like, I, all I'm just saying is, like, we have different skill sets. Uh, but then, like, again, some people can deal with the pressure of like managing someone's life you know um and that's the, that's my two cents on it some people can say follow and get poisoned by bugs and be okay with it other people would just say no that's too much for me also we might actually die here uh we should have drank anti-venom that that would be smart here we'll drink it now even though oh poison removed um so, first of all, that was incredibly stupid. I didn't even realize we had the anti-venom. Actually, we're going to save right now, too, because if I need to hightail it out of here, we can do so now. So, and that is, it's interesting because everyone has, like, this is why I like talking to different people, because everyone has, like, their, they not only, like, their interests, but, like, skills and hobbies that they're into, like, um, and because we live in a world where like, we have so many needs, like we have to have all these different kinds of people who can uh, fulfill these needs, right? Like we need the janitors, the um, like the social workers, like we need like the blue collar job people. Yeah, yeah I forgot about the anti venom. That was really bad. Oh, and that's just it. Like, math's a very common thing for people not to be into it. Like, people have a very real fear of mathematics. Which, like, I understand why. Like, math can be incredibly intimidating. Like, I get that. Um, and that's fine. I, I'm still... Oh, man. I can't believe we didn't use the stim packs. Uh, like, I've talked to PhD... Like, or people with a PhD in like, education. And you can tell, like, they're still not comfortable with mathematics. And that's completely okay. I'm not saying that if you don't, if you don't like mathematics, that like, you're a bad person or whatever. But I'm just saying that, like, there are people out there who don't have... Uh, the ability to do math, well, not only the ability, but um, don't have the aptitude for it, and that's fine. I'm gonna sleep here for an hour. One hour, and then we're gonna talk to this. I want to talk to you. 
Hundred percent free cannabis. Whoa, what? 